Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another makeup tutorial. This one's gonna be a little bit more chit chatty um, because I've been away for like a week. Technically I've been away for two weeks. I haven't filmed in two weeks. So this is the first time in a while and I felt like I just needed to like talk, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you guys are interested in seeing this makeup tutorial, we are gonna be using the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette once again, then please keep on watching. So, the first thing I'm going to do is pop on some lip balm. This is the Bobbi Brown Lip Tint, Extra Lip Tint. It's just like this. It's actually pretty expensive. This guy sent to me by Makeup.com, so it's really nice, though. It gives a nice little tint, but, you know, there are cheaper lip balms out there. Because this one's like 30 32 bucks or something, so super expensive. I'd never, like, recommend it to anybody, <laughs> just because that's just, like, an absurd amount for, like, a tinted lip balm girl but it's really nice but anyways I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer on the back of my hand and that's what I'm going to use to prime my lids and I'm using this Dew Color Brush I use this all the time it's like an um came out of a set of like five of these brushes I love 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 to use these to prime my lids and the reason I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is because it doesn't crease on me and it makes my eyeshadow pop really 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 nicely plus it's what I use to carve out underneath of my brows so it just makes sense oh my gosh I did the wrong eye off camera I just realized that I did this eye off camera I was supposed to do this one oh good thing my microphone is over here but it just makes looking into my viewfinder a lot harder oh my gosh it's a day already oh my gosh but I'm using the NYX translucent setting powder um, and a Sigma large fluff E50 brush this is all routine I'm sure all of my <laughs> regular subscribers already know what I'm doing, but um, yeah, we are six subscribers away from 26,000 subscribers, you guys. Get your sister on the phone, your best friend on the phone, your auntie, your mama, your grandma, even if they don't wear makeup, tell them to come to my channel and subscribe, please. We are trying to grow this channel to become the biggest channel on YouTube. <laughs> It's a long shot, but you know. So remember the Fenty Beauty palettes. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm gonna be using the shade Kumin Get It, which is the like reddish brown shade as a transition shade. And most of the brushes that I'm gonna be using are from the Pretty Bar. So if you see the pink handle, it's from the Pretty Bar, and this is um, their pink martini or pink yeah pink martini brush set. I've been using these brushes, you guys, honestly, for like. Oh my god, three years now? Yeah, because Sydney's three, almost four. So yeah, like three years, almost four years, and they haven't done me wrong. They are amazing. So I'm using this in my crease with this transition shade. But I don't know, you guys, I haven't really like been anywhere. Like literally last week, I was in the bed all week. Like if I'm being completely honest, like I could have gotten up and filmed. It was just, it was just one of those weeks where I was just like, blah. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have ever had those weeks, but that was kind of my week. I'm gonna take a moment to use Saffron, which is the um, like reddish pink kind of shade. Um, but I don't know. Jack just kept like asking, like you know, when I'm gonna get back to filming and what's going on and all of that, and I just, I can't or couldn't really give him like an honest answer of what was going on because like there was nothing really wrong I just felt I don't know and it could be because um, I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning my vitamin D levels were really low back um, last like August September ish I went to the doctor and like that was like the first time I had been to the doctor and probably like three years since I left for the mil since I was in the military um, so like they had figured out that my vitamin D levels were really low and she was like that could explain you like why you feel like lethargic and like you don't want to do anything um so she was saying like that could be the reason why but I don't know I haven't gotten I was okay so I was taking like an extra 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 dosage of vitamin D like like medicinal <laughs> dosage like it was really 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 high so I was taking like a really strong dosage but I was only taking that for like a month so I would take like one pill every week because it was such a high dose and then after that 
I was supposed to go back and get more testing and she said she wanted to keep me on like over-the-counter vitamin D so Jack had gotten me some gummies but like I don't know I'm really weird about like taste like the gummies just they didn't taste like fruit snacks you know so it was like I don't really want to use it um, which I should have been using it you guys but I didn't so I am thinking that my vitamin D levels are just really low because even today it's Sunday and like I did not want to get out of bed like I woke up at like 6 30 my sleeping habits have been all over the place and then I cooked like a big breakfast ate my breakfast and then went back to sleep at like 8 o'clock slept till 12 and then it's like 3 o'clock so like I was like lounging around the house like I watched a couple of Luke Cage episodes like it was just like I don't know I just wasn't really doing anything but I still didn't feel the urge to get up and film either <sighs> you guys I don't know something is wrong with me I'm using this shade right here it's a darker deeper purple it's called Fez up and I'm gonna use that on a makeup geek outer V brush it's like a pencil brush and I'm pretty much gonna just smoke this like really low and tight to the lower lash line and then put this out in the outer V and just kind of do like a, a V motion so it adds like a tiny bit of definition but not too too much um so yeah you guys are just that's pretty much where I've been and like Jack has just been like when are you gonna cook because I haven't really been cooking when are you gonna you know film like you know what's going on pretty much and I just don't have an answer besides like you know just not feeling up to it but like that's not an excuse especially when this is my job so <sighs> I don't know last weekend I had a wedding yes last weekend I had a wedding in Chicago like last weekend was crazy so a lot of you guys don't follow me on um, Facebook and I didn't post it on Instagram which I should have posted on Instagram but uh, my battle buddy so if you don't know what a battle buddy is it's pretty much just um, I was in the army in the military but in the army specifically a battle buddy is like 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 another soldier but it's like like in the army you can't go anywhere without a battle buddy because you know somebody needs to know your whereabouts and things like that so like my battle buddy was Luol in the in the army when I was in basic training but that's not who I like kept up with like she went to a different AIT which is advanced individual training so she went to a different AIT than I did but Rankins her name was Jada Rankins um Jaylene Espinoza and Samantha Oliver all were in basic with me and they went to the same AIT with me so we were all really close we were like in the same um room in our barracks so we were all really close and you know we've kept up and everything like that um, but Rankins is actually going to the Navy now. So she got out of the Army when she got pregnant, and she's going to the Navy now. So now she'll um, be going into there, and she won't be in the Army anymore. But um, she came down well she's training in Great Lakes Illinois which is like really really far north like north of Chicago north so it's about an hour and 45 away from like where I am pretty much two hours because Chicago traffic like getting through that is crazy um let me pause for a second I am using the shade oh my gosh um that's Moroccan ice um uh, I'm using the shade Sahara Stunna which is right here it's like a light pink kind of shade um so anyway she's like an hour 45 two, two hours away from me and I had a wedding that I was doing in Chicago and I don't do a lot of makeup in Chicago because I don't like the drive up there um but I'll do weddings around my town so I went to the wet or not went to the wedding I did the makeup for the wedding and then I went up to Great Lakes to pick up Rankins and then came back home uh, and then took her to see my mom, took her to see my grandma, uh, that was actually on Sunday, but then we went back up to Chicago because she wanted to go out, and she wanted to go out, out, so she wanted to, like, experience Chicago out, so we went up there, and then, like, as soon as we get up there, her boyfriend, like, pissed her off, like, he just said some off-the-wall shit, so she didn't want to go up there anymore, so, like, then I had to drive all the way back down, which is, like, an hour, 15 minutes, so I spent, like, two, I spent all in, in that day, I spent, two hours driving up there two hours back so it was four and then an hour so I drove six hours that day six hours I was driving and it was her birthday weekend so you know I wanted to make sure her birthday was like memorable and stuff like that 
so we ended up coming back down and going to my dad's bar and hanging out there and she's like we should have just came here in the first place and I'm like are you kidding Rankin so anyway so I spent that weekend with Rankins and then we came um, we went back up to Chicago before we were taking her back to the base and took her to Shake Shack so we tried Shake Shack which it's not all that y'all it's not all that that pepper burger was five but like it was like off the chain expensive. It was like $25 for me and Jack. And I was like, I could have took you to Portillo's and it would have been a lot better. <laughs> but it was an experience, you know, she got to see downtown, like downtown, downtown, like Michigan Avenue, Chicago and stuff like that. So it was nice for her to experience that, but it was just like, oh, I, that burger wasn't all that. <laughs> so um, we did that and then, um, I ended up we ended up taking her back Jack actually drove that time like when we were in Chicago he drove that time because I was literally exhausted like my body had ached and I think that's the start of like me just being like you need to take a breather and take a break I think I have like a pinched nerve like right here on the back of my neck like right here because like if I'm standing doing makeup too long or from sitting filming too long like my it starts to ache like like a pin like a pinching kind of feel like it hurts really bad so i bought like icy hot probably like a year ago yeah a year ago i bought icy hot almost two years ago and i just used that with the lidocaine in it because it was that painful um but i really need to see like you know like a nerve doctor or something like that if that's even possible so he ended up driving her back and then driving back home we didn't get home until like 10 o'clock and then after that i was like okay I have a video prepared for Monday, so I'm just gonna, you know, put that video up and then, you know, hopefully I'll feel better so I can film the next day, you know, film on, you know, Tuesday and post for Tuesday. And I had that actually planned, but I actually ended up not doing that. So it just, it was just a domino effect, you guys. Like, I just, I don't know. It was... It was a weekend and then this weekend I actually had a weekend off. I didn't have any clients. Like I had clients scheduled, but then they canceled. So I didn't have any clients. So I actually got to relax yesterday. Um, Jack, his best friend and one of my cousins that were, you know, just now like, I don't want to say like rekindling, but like we're becoming like close again. Um, we played Fortnite literally from like, he came over at like one o'clock. So we played Fortnite from like one to like, 10 o'clock at night so like for nine hours we were just like running squads all at my house me jack derek and javarius were all just sitting in the living room we had like four tvs going four xboxes just running squads it was so much fun like i actually enjoyed it yesterday so i'm like okay you've had enough time off time for you to get your ass back to work so that is this this is this look it's actually really 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 pretty i actually really like it um for lashes I'm using the new, well not new, but new to me, new to my channel. These are the Icon lashes, so you can find Icon on Instagram. Um, and these are the, I think these are the faux, faux mink. I think the faux mink, or they might be mink, I'm not sure, 100%. But these are the goals, hashtag goals lashes. So that is what these are, and these are the lashes that I'm actually gonna pop on today. Because this look is a little bit softer, I wanted to go with a softer lash. This lash is the, the softest out of all of them that I have and I do have a coupon code so I'll have the link down below and then I'll have the coupon down below but it is Lanye excuse me 30 and someone has asked me if I have acid reflux I might because I swear in every single video I always like burp so I might if you're a nurse or a doctor let me know but no I might but um, code Lanye30 will save you 30% off of any of their lashes on the website, off of your total purchase. Um, but I definitely recommend you buying some because these are bomb. These are bomb. They just look bomb, you guys. But I just ordered some Lily lashes too, and I've been just getting a ton of lashes because I have some from Shop Eden Rose that I've been using. I have the ones from Baba Lash, the Nita style that I love. So I have like three pairs of those. I have the Icon lashes, and then I just bought four pairs of the Lily lashes. So lashes been a beat on flick 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 <laughs> but i'm gonna pop these lashes on and then um come back with my face already done and do the lips all righty you guys so i am gonna use that same pretty bar brush with that same what is it like 
saffron color so the same like reddish color and put that into the lower lash line i actually could use this because that's kind of far so this is just pretty much going to be blown out but yeah you guys so that's pretty much where i have been what i have been doing um a lot of the times i feel really bad when i just disappear and like my instagram goes untouched and my youtube is untouched because i feel like it hinders me from like progressing but at the same time i feel like sometimes i feel like what's the point because like I'm not growing at like a rapid pace, you know, I'm growing and I'm really, really, really happy and appreciative of that. But at the same time, it's like I see other people who do the same thing that I do and that have done it for a shorter amount of time. And it's just like, you know, what the hell, you know, what's the difference type of thing. So I know I can't compare all of our journeys, you know, the same, but it's still frustrating. I'm going to use that same purple shade as well and just put that really tight to the lower lash line. But it's still frustrating nonetheless because it's like, I feel like I put my absolute all into this channel. And then, you know, I don't grow as fast or gain as fast as others. It's really frustrating because I've been doing this since I was in college, you guys. Like, literally, 2013... Well, actually, it was 2014 because I got just gotten back from, like, AIT and basic training. And I had um, gotten back, went to drill, and then, like, used my first drill check, which was, like, $200 or something like that. I think it was, like, $200 for two days. And used that to buy my first camera. So I was using, like, just a point, just a point and shoot, you know, nothing special, nothing spectacular. So I was using that to film my videos and stuff. And... You know that's four years that I've been doing this and four years this last January that I've been doing this and it's just like come on where's my recognition you know what I mean I don't know you guys and everybody tells me you know not to worry about it my time will come you know my gifts will make room for me and it's just like when <laughs> you know when and I hate to question you know time and everything but it's still just like when is it my time to grow and show you know um, I'm gonna use this shade up here it's called Mor Moroccan ice it's like a light iridescent color Put that in my inner corner um, and I understand that like Jackie Ina just hit like a million after doing it for 10 years and I understand all of that but it's like do I really have to be doing this for 10 years to gain recognition and I know like I could just start doing like clickbaity videos but then I feel like I would be disloyal to y'all you know the ones that have been here have been subscribed for you know a year ten months two years some of y'all have been with me for freaking ever like literally since then four years you know and then I feel like I would be disloyal to y'all if I just like switch it up on y'all but at the same time it's like what do I have to do to be, you know, growing? And, like, I want to do, like, story time videos and Oh, 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 oh! I want to do, like, story time videos and stuff, but, like, my life is so boring. <laughs> so I don't have, like, any stories. Like, I could tell y'all about, like, the one time I, like, pulled up on a girl that Jack was talking to at the same time he's talking to me, but, like, I don't want to, like, you know destroy y'all's image of him and like I know he probably wouldn't agree with me doing that either like there are a lot of stories that I could tell about like Jack and I's relationship but it would be to my benefit but not his so like it would just kind of like show him in a negative light and I know he doesn't really want that so I don't know but other than that I don't really have any stories any stories for like story time I could tell y'all about like no but then that would like you know I don't know I couldn't really tell y'all about like you know living with my mom and her past because then that would like put my sister's business on blast and my mom's business on blast so like it's like anything that I would like tell y'all as like a story would be negative for somebody else 
so it just it's just not right so story time isn't really an option I could do like I actually have been thinking about doing like another drunk makeup tutorial but instead of doing that like doing shots like legit getting like messed up cuz like y'all Y'all saw me in that drunk makeup tutorial and y'all thought I was lit. Like, y'all haven't seen me lit, lit, like, my 21st birthday lit. Like, <laughs> I can actually tell y'all a story about my 21st birthday. My mom wasn't going, but that would be hilarious. Um, but, oh, I didn't grab a lip product. Hold on one second. I don't know. What, what do I want to do? Something pinky? Because everything, I'm like pink the fuck out <laughs> okay you guys so i know i have a little bit something on there but i am actually gonna go in with plum current plum queen from dose of colors it's like a little darker i was gonna do like a glossy kind of lip but i was like no go in with something darker And Dose of Colors actually just um, announced that they were collabing with I Love Sarahi. And I'm really hoping I get a PR package for that. Because I'm really excited. Before I end this video though, I want to know. Are y'all excited for the Norvuna palette or no? Because I'm going to do a review on it. Because I review all ABH palettes, but I'm going to do a review on it. But I'm like, sis, where is my PR? Like, why aren't I on the PR list? I have literally, you guys, y'all know, I have literally done a video for every single palette they have come out with. I did um, Modern Renaissance. I did, oh my gosh, Modern Renaissance, Subculture, Prism, um... Ooh, even like the older ones, like the Shadow Couture, the, um, ooh, what is that one? The, uh, oh, the other one. Oh my gosh, I can't think of the name right now, but like the Subculture Prism, the Soft Glam, like I have done videos on all of them and I've done five videos and I still can't get noticed by that brand. Like I get like retweets and likes from Norvina and stuff like that and ABH but it's just like they don't want me on their PR list it's like I'm not good enough you know it's kind of frustrating cause it's like come on I've even, even had Anastasia Beverly Hills like say that she was gonna actually check out my playlist of like ooh I got some on my shirt of like what which palette was it like the prison palette or something like that and like never got notified or don't know if she did it or anything so it's just like Meh. Like, come on. I think I'm actually gonna add a lighter shade. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of stone to the center. Cause this plummy shade is a little dark. This is almost gone. I'm almost out. Alright you guys, so this is the completed look using the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice palette. This is definitely like a different look, like, whoop! I thought I almost like threw it off the, <laughs> off the side, but looking at this palette, like, these pinks were like, like these like reddish, pinkish, mauve shades were like calling my eyes. It's probably one of my favorite looks to do, like, on my skin tone besides like purple. Like purple and like these pinks like these reddish pinkish shades are like die hard line like that's me so yes i think i did what did i do last time the gold yeah i did the gold with like the ombre into the blue so like the next shade i want to use is like this teal shade but yes let me know if you guys want to see more looks using this palette because i know you guys said like y'all didn't really want to see like a five palette series video on that which i understand it's not like that exciting of a palette but it is still a really 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 beautiful palette but thank you guys so much for tuning into this chit chat get ready with me makeup tutorial type of thing i don't know but um if you want to see 
and like the concealer and stuff like that I will probably have that at the end of this video because I think I'm gonna post that one first um, I don't know I like to keep y'all like on your P's and Q's <laughs> um, but also let me know if you want to see more looks out of that palette please and I will talk to you guys in tomorrow's video I love you all so much thank you so much for watching Mwah. bye you guys Ooh.